So for the intro for this video, I think I'm gonna get on my desk. And when I jump off, when I land, sundials start playing. I think that might be cool. So here we go, ready? Oh. In three, two, one. What's up? I am Dakota Blanchard and this is going to be episode number two in the Let Me Sleep Forever track breakdowns. This is going to be the episode where we go into Sundial. I'm not going to talk a lot for this intro, let's just jump right into the computer and get to it. So here we are, back in the project file for Let Me Sleep Forever. Um, if you haven't seen the first video, I would recommend checking that out because in that first video, I went through and explained what everything is. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out to get a better understanding of how this project is laid out. Anyways, uh, let's jump right into Sundial. So uh, not many people know this. I, I don't know if really anyone knows this, but Sundial started out as... So in the documentary, we kind of explained how Sundial was the song that kind of kicked us back into the writing process. How that happened was uh kind of funny i guess um so our vocalist ian was doing a lot of his own solo stuff and he had come to me with one of his solo songs and the hook in that song was what ended up being the hook in sundial but anyways he showed me that song and I'll, I'll play a clip of it right here, uh, just in case any of you are curious. The second hand unwinds with every choice I make. It's hard to forget. Speakers or bleachers, will you sing my songs? Will you carry the torch when my flame is all gone? So I heard that, and when I heard that hook, I don't know, something just kind of clicked with me, and I immediately hit up the producer who made that song with Ian. And I was like, yo, send me over those vocal tracks real quick. And so he sent me over the vocal tracks. I took those vocal tracks from the from his solo song. And I started just just kind of writing. I was like, this hook is cool. But like, what if it slammed into something different than a trap song? <laughs> so I, I took those vocals and I um I started writing the guitars to it. And I showed this to Ian and he immediately was like, yeah, yeah, we're, we're turning this into a veranda song. So that's kind of how Sundial came about. But anyways, let's uh, let's start off with Sundial. I'll hit play like I did before with Shy. I'll just hit play and I'll go through and explain things as we go. <laughs> All right, so let's go over some stuff in the beginning. The song starts out with this vocal sample, um, and I'm not going to lie, I got this vocal sample right off of Splice and just uh, messed with it a little bit. So again, that song starts with that sample and the rhythm guitars. Then we have three different guitar leads here. And it's funny, two of these we had written. And the third one, there's it's a funny story. There's a few of these thrown in uh, around this track. The story of this is when we were recording guitars, we um, took a break and we went out to a restaurant to go eat. 
And when we came back, uh, Jay was sitting there and just throwing little guitar noodles over different parts of different songs. Going through this afterwards, I kept finding all these little guitar parts and I was like, where did this come from? I definitely didn't record this. And it, it's some of them we just kept in there and this is one of them because it complemented this intro really nice so yeah thanks again jay for helping us out i'll show you the two guitar leads that we wrote for this song then i'll show you the one that jay threw in one of them is just a clean guitar which is this guy right here this one down here under shimmer even though technically this is not a shimmer guitar at all this is a lead that was tracked using an ebo if you don't know what an ebo is it's basically like uh, an electronic violin bow. What it does is it's like a magnet kind of that just vibrates the guitar strings like a like a bow would for a violin or a cello or something. And that's what we used for this lead right here. Let me show you uh, this Ebo sound. Then we have this regular guitar, clean guitar lead that we had written for this intro. And uh, let me show you Jay's little noodle here. Now all three of those combined sound like this. Throw in the rhythm guitars. Yeah, cool. So that's guitars. Vocals, we just have the main vocal and the harmony. Play those. When the sun sets, tell me, where does it go? Will I get a chance to see it on my own? That's the vocal. So just like Shy, we have things that add to this build, which in this case, last time we had like a reverse tom. This time we have a reverse snare. And when everything kicks in all together, we have the bass come in, the main rhythm guitars, and we have the same thing being played uh, just on a Big Muff pedal. And these are just the regular rhythms. This is the bass. And this is the lead when everything kicks in. And just because uh, we've soloed everything else, let's uh, listen to the drums on their own. All right, cool. Let's keep going with the song. With every choice I make, it starts to...
okay sick so let's talk about that first verse first thing i want to mention is you'll notice the bass dies out for the first half of that and then comes in with this cool little noodle that ian wrote So the next thing I want to mention is with the drums for that part, I uh, pushed the room mics up a little bit, um, and I also added uh, a big verb to the drums there just to open up the drums and let the vocals kind of come in and not have the drums be so in your face. With guitars for this, you can see the, the guitars with the muff pedal on uh, fade out. The rhythms... The tone for this rhythm keeps going throughout the entire song, but we also have these guitars that come in for this first verse. I'll play these real quick. Which, if you'll notice, is the same riff as the beginning of the song. The lead is a little different for this part. Uh, play that. Yeah, and no vocal harmonies. This is just a very simple verse with just a main vocal and the main vocal recorded a second time. Yeah, so let's just keep going. Pretty simple so far. Uh, I mean, this song in general is pretty simple. The farther we get into this album, there's going to be a lot more things that kind of come into play. I would say the way this album is laid out is the first few songs start out very simplistic and the farther you get into this album the crazier the layers get so stay tuned for the next episodes because you'll see as we get farther into this project that things kind of go crazy but yeah let's let's keep going with this one Real quick in that transition right there. I added some samples to those two Tom hits right there. And that I, I did that in a couple parts of the song where I felt the Toms just needed a little more oomph. <laughs> We've also got, right before this comes in, a little bit of uh, like feedback is just like a quick guitar pluck. Okay, let's uh, keep going for real this time. So here we have the first instance of the vocal hook meeting the instrumental hook. So let me go through the layers of these vocals. We have the main vocals, we've got the harmony vocal, and we've got a vocal low, which is just the main vocal sung an octave down. You might want to use a good pair of headphones or speakers to listen to this, but I'll play it with everything and I'll turn it on and off. And let me know if you hear the difference in I don't know, depth. When the sun sets, tell me, where does it go? So it's subtle, it's definitely subtle, but I think it adds more character to the vocals. Uh, let's keep going.
So here we have the bridge. We have uh, left and right harmony, but they're also like they're like yell harmonies. And then we also have uh, a yell, just a straight up yell track. So the main vocals sound like this. It's hard to forget. Add in these left and right yell harmonies. It's hard to forget. And add in just the straight up centered yells. It's hard to forget the mirror that reflects. Those are the vocal layers for the bridge. When the bridge comes to an end, we go back to just uh, a single vocal. And then when the last chorus hits, we got a lot of vocal layers that come in. Underneath that vocal, in that pause right before the last chorus comes back in, we have the lead. And we've also got these rhythm guitars that fade in. Let me show you those. So let's take a listen to this last chorus and then we'll break down the rest of these vocal layers. When the sun sets, tell me where does it go? Let's break down this last chorus because we introduce more vocal layers and a third guitar layer. These guitars are doing this. Those are uh, just octave chords that are being played to add more depth to the instrumentals of this chorus. And then we have the regular rhythms and the muff pedal to add some, I don't know, <laughs> vocal layers. So last chorus, we need to make it big. So we have the main vocals, low vocals, the harmony, and then we also have these yell harmonies as well. We've also got this vocal delay over here. Let's, uh, let's listen to those. This is the, with the delay. It's a ping pong delay, so it goes back and forth. I just took the end of these tracks and threw them up onto this delay track. It sounds like this. Storm that's brewing in my head, contemplating my regrets. Let me just solo all the vocals so you can hear the, the layer of them here. When the sun sets, tell me Where does it go? Will I get a chance to see it on my own? Survive the storm that's brewing in my head Contemplating my regrets The second hand unwinds With every choice I make It's hard to forget and I mean, really, that's it for Sundial. Sundial is a very straightforward song. Like I said, the further we get into these songs on this project, the more layers and depth and hidden things that I'll be able to show you. But so far, Shy, Sundial, pretty straightforward songs. I'm excited to get to the other songs on this album because I know the further, like I said earlier, the further we get into this album, the more layers and depth that we begin to add. I guess that kind of wraps up Sundial. As always, thank you guys for watching, and uh, Depart will be up next.